Hey there, it's Jay with Fleet Guard, and I'm here today to show you one of our latest tools for air filter maintenance, the Fleet Guard LED Air Restriction Indicator. These LED restriction indicators are designed to enable customers with an easy, visual, reliable indication of the air filter's true remaining service life. What's great is they can be installed either as a direct replacement for those traditional mechanical gauges, or they can be universally installed on almost all air filter housings out in the marketplace today. And what makes these LED air restriction indicators superior to those traditional spring-loaded mechanical gauges is their inbuilt logic that's not going to change status until there's been five seconds of restriction stated, thus helping you avoid those false alerts which can often happen with the older style gauges. The LED light is bright enough for the operator or maintenance technician to see. We're out here in broad daylight. You can see the light here on our display unit and also here on the engine. And how it works is pretty cool. It's gonna change color based on the remaining service life of the air filter. So it's gonna start out as green and progressively change color over to a amber yellow color as the filter starts to load. And as it nears the end of that filter's life, it's gonna change over to a solid red color. So one question we get asked a lot is, what's the difference between the three different LED restriction indicator part numbers you guys sell today? And how do I know which one to buy? That's a great question. To make things simple, we do have the three part numbers. The first part number is SK15967, which includes a grommet and a barded fitting for universal installation when there's no threaded port already available. And that's set for 21 inches of restriction. Now, for a system where there's already a mechanical spring-loaded gauge in place, we have two part numbers today. We have the SK15959 and the SK15960. So with the SK15960, this one is also set for 21 inches of restriction, and the SK15959 is set for 25 inches of restriction. So if you're replacing an existing spring-loaded gauge today, you wanna to make sure you're using those respectively uh, in the right setting. As far as installation goes, we do have a video linked in the description below right here on our YouTube channel that will walk you through that process start to finish. It's pretty straightforward. If you're mechanically inclined, uh, it should not be intimidating whatsoever. For additional information, I'd encourage you to reach out to us at fleetguard.com where you can talk with your authorized Fleet Guard dealer and they'll be able to provide more information. Thanks for watching our video today and remember, nothing guards like Fleet Guard.